this is my whole house filter setup. Excuse the wiring, it's not quite complete yet. Uh, opted for this over a pre-purchased set. Um, pre-purchased sets have advantages in that they are pre-made so there's less work. The disadvantage is that if you ever want to modify the system, you're stuck with whatever filter size your pre-made set has and you are stuck with proprietary parts in, on some of them. Uh, not all of them are universal. And uh, this set, because it's made out of PEX tubing, is something that I can very easily modify anytime I want to just by isolating the part of the system I want to change, cutting into the PEX, adding a T and some shutoff valves, and I can effectively plumb anything in within minutes. Uh, go ahead and kind of walk through it here. So you have in from the well. Um, and then that is the main shutoff valve for the house right there. And then we come up and this first shutoff valve right here is the bypass. So if I close this valve and open that valve, I can bypass the entire system, all the filters and the water softener. Uh, this is handy mostly just because I have a wife and children that do not like to be without running water when I need to work on the system and you know I can run it through for a few minutes our well water doesn't have any dangerous bacteria or anything in it and uh, that is fine it you have a little bit more sediment going through just for a few minutes but uh, it should, shouldn't be that big of a deal um, you know quite a few folks around here on the same aquifer that actually run their systems with no filters at all which will shorten the lifespan of their appliances but uh, so be it uh, anyway moving on to the filter system itself you turn this valve on this valve off this valve on the way they are now and you have a simpure spin down filter with a 200 micron filter 200 micron filter uh, these Simpure and other brands, uh, I went with Simpure just because of the reviews, seem like people really like them. Uh, the 40 uh, micron filter is if you're on city water that's already been filtered. You want to use the 200 micron filter shown here if you're on well water. And you can kind of see right here, it's got some sediment in it. I've, I've cleared it out pretty recently. But what happens is that sediment builds up in the bottom of the filter. It's pretty cool. You can actually see a vortex form in there. And anything bigger than 200 microns gets stuck. And then when you stop using water and there's no more water flow, all that sediment just kind of sinks down to the bottom. Uh, it's super handy. I don't really like how this valve, this valve is actually closed and the handle is parallel with the, the uh, pipe that it's on, the flow. So your water flow is down. Well, what should happen is when you want a valve to be off, the handle should be perpendicular to the flow of water, to the pipe that it's on. This is reversed. I can only assume that an American, or I don't know how it works in Europe, presumably it works the same way as it does here, but that it was not an American that devised this system. Uh, that's probably modifiable. Uh, there is a screw here. I haven't looked at that yet. But what you do is you open that valve and then you have this drain hose right here and you put this into a bucket open that valve and all the sediment that's come gone to the bottom just flushes right out no need to open that whole assembly unless for some reason your filter here got caked with sediment which i've been running this for a few days and i don't see any sediment on it at all whatsoever uh let's see this filter here so moving on you can see it just packs the whole thing is packs except for the brass fittings that attach the filter housings themselves. So right here, you can see that we've got the next filter housing. So right here, you can see we've got the next filter housing. This filter is really interesting. I could only find this on eBay. I really wanted one of these. This is a 50 micron stainless steel weave filter. It is reusable. It can actually be rinsed off. And what I've noticed is, again, I run uh, you know, gallons and gallons of water through this for a few days. And look at what happens to the sediment. 
it cakes up on the bottom. It goes down to the bottom. I'm going to guess I'll barely ever have to clean this thing as long as I take off the housing and empty out this sediment because it looks to me like when the water's flowing, the sediment gets pressed against the sides of the filter and then once water flow stops, the sediment sinks to the bottom. And the fun part is when water is flowing through this, this sediment does not kick back up and get back on the filter. So kind of interesting. Now I have read that these uh, stainless steel filters, which are primarily used in industrial applications for dealing with oils or dealing with very hot water that would melt the polypropylene uh, plastic and cloth um, commonly used in household filters. But I wanted one because I just, you know, if I can get a 50 micron filter and clean it and not have to replace uh, filters that have to be replaced, I save money over time. Um, also, you know, if I were ever in a situation where I couldn't get replacement filters for some reason, um, you know, I'm not, not a conspiracy theorist per se, but I do like to be prepared. I'm getting a manual pump installed on my well shortly. Uh, a couple other things along those lines. You know, I'll have a 50 micron filter that will work no matter what for a very long period of time. Uh, I never need replacing. Those are about, so that was about 30 bucks. I got it on sale. This filter was about 80 bucks. The housings are about 80 bucks a piece. So it's, it's not necessarily a cheap date to get this done, but it's not horrible either. This is a um, pleated filter. That's what it's called. It's got these pleats running through it. These are semi-reusable, and there is water on the outside of this system. I just got done replacing these, and there's no way to, to uh, open them up without some water leaking out. But these pleated filters can actually be rinsed a few times. So this is also a 50 micron filter, because I heard these were somewhat imperfect. I got a second 50 micron filter. I, I read that if I went with a 20, it could actually uh, decrease water flow a little bit, and I, I don't want to do that. I've got seven people in my family. Uh, sometimes we have other folks over. Uh, I may wind up opting for a 20 micron in the filter just to see what I think of it. But this filter, as it fills up, I can take it out, I can rinse it off at least a few times and should be able to get quite a bit of life out of it. This is a five micron filter and obviously I, I had been using this. I used it before I replaced this whole house filter system. It's, uh, it's actually not full yet. Um, it looks like it's got a bunch of uh, sediment on it and it does but you'll actually get, you know, I've, I've only had this on for a couple weeks and they're supposed to last for um, a month to three months if they're your only filter is what I found before you lose water pressure and they don't filter very well anymore. The whole point of having this system is to make this last a long time. Well, to make this last pretty long, but really to make this last a long time because these filters are about $13 a piece um, and they aren't 100% uh, effective once they get a bunch of sediment in there so I really want those to last a long time because uh, this is the only part of my system that I'm really going to have to be replacing on a regular basis I hope my goal is to get uh, at least six months hopefully 12 months out of this filter uh, next we have our obviously the the bypass stops or goes past everything but this right here this valve right here is my uh, bypass valve for the water softener. So if this valve was open and this valve was open and this valve was closed, we're using the water softener. That's the configuration it's in now. If I close this valve and close this valve and open this valve, then I bypass my water softener, but I'm still using my filter system. You will notice I cannot bypass my filter system um, and use the water softener with unfiltered water. My uh, water softeners, from what I've read, do not do well with unfiltered water, so I just didn't include that option. Uh, water softener is just a standard water softener model. Uh, it's a Whirlpool, came with the house. Uh, really haven't had any issues with it, so didn't see need to replace or anything. Um, I did leave the original PVC fittings and just use Shark Bite Push Fit PVC to PEX. Um, this whole thing is PEX, so PEX plumbing is flexible, it's one inch PEX. Um, copper rings are pretty uh, pretty interesting to crimp sometimes, especially if you have to do a whole lot of them back to back. I use a manual Apollo crimp, crimping tool. Oh, there goes my light. Yeah, so my lights down here are occupancy lights because otherwise my, my wife and children like to come down here and they will turn on the lights and they will not turn them off again. Uh, I did use PEX. Um, and like I said, I use a manual Apollo crimper. So crimping all of these was a little interesting. Um, I did it all in, pretty much all in one evening. Uh, but yeah, they work really well. 
you use the go no go gauge make sure everything's tight and as long as it's uh it it gauges well all the way around um, no leaks none not not a drop out of those i did have some initial issues with the adapters from the filter housings to pex uh when i used the cheap teflon tape that came with the filter housings but i switched over to demon tape which is much thicker uh, much better made much wider highly recommend that you invest the money in getting some decent teflon tape there's just no reason to screw with the cheap stuff um it's much more forgiving and seals very nicely i do like these these brass valves you can get uh plastic parts for pex i don't recommend it i recommend that you go with brass and i recommend that you use uh, preferentially the crimp rings. I did use some push fit fittings. Those are the only kinds of fittings you can get for the PVC to uh, PEX, for example. The other reason you'll find some push fit fittings throughout this is the hardware store locally just did not have enough of the standard fittings. So you'll see like I've got a push fit uh, valve here and this valve, these valves are much cheaper and they're actually rated for double the uh, the pressure, it doesn't really matter on a household system because the pressure from the well never goes over 60 PSI. It's about 55 tops. Um, and this is rated for 200, this is rated for 400. Uh, it's really about cost, uh, like I said. And and uh, I have had one push fit fitting fail before. It was on a low pressure system from outdoor wood burning boiler. And my understanding is they're more reliable with higher pressure systems like this. Uh, nonetheless, I just feel better knowing that these flattened uh lower diameter you know decreased diameter copper rings are actually pinching this shut with an absolutely terrific amount of force <laughs> when you crimp one you can you can feel it uh, and they just you know they're not going to go anywhere uh, unless you cut the pipe and then cut this uh off it's not going anywhere although that is that is a good point when i made some mistakes throughout this i was able to cut the pipe and then you can actually get a, an apollo cutting tool you cut the ring about here and here you use your thumb and it just bends right off these are just copper and uh, you can immediately refit your next piece of pipe and recrimp it's very very quick much better than working with PVC or any other sort of piping in terms of speed and it has the same functionality when you're done well that's about it uh, after that we go straight into the house supply which is just uh, one inch for the filter system adapted to three quarter inch for the rest of the house and away you go hope that helps anyone who's thinking about working through this kind of a system it's just one way to do it um, eventually i might add uh, other filtration options which would be very very easy to do because all i would have to do would be tap into the system at whatever stage i want to install uh one or two T's, depending on what I was doing, maybe a shutoff valve, and I would have the ability to put in any, almost any conceivable filter I want, anywhere I want, very quickly, very easily. It would be a, a one day or one evening project um, in terms of attaching the system to, or attaching the filter to the system. So again, hope that helps anyone who's looking at doing this. I didn't really find a video uh, anywhere or a guide anywhere for someone that wanted to do something quite like this. So um, I'm also open to feedback. I uh, do some DIY things. I know that this could definitely be neater and I'm sure, and I've already thought of things I could do to improve it. Uh, and obviously you can tell I'm uh, certainly not, uh, <laughs> not working to furniture level precision or anything like that. I have a lot of space down here and simply wanted to leave plenty of room if I ever wanted to make future modifications. Um, Oh, I guess one other thing I should mention is that how I anchored it. Um, right over here, that's a concrete anchor. There's a matching concrete anchor on this side of the board right behind that strap that's helping to support the system. Uh, there goes my lights again. And then this is a pressure treated uh, two by eight. And it's held in place with just those two concrete anchors. That's plenty, they're half inch concrete anchors. They're four inches long. There's about three inches of them uh, sunk into the foundation. I just used a breaker hammer um to uh drill holes in the foundation and I used a socket wrench to put those in i pre-assembled the filter assembly on the board and then hung it to the wall afterward 
Uh, but like I said, I know it's not precise. I'm quite sure it could be improved and I'm sure there are professionals out there that will be groaning uh, for a number of reasons and I'm, I'm more than open to that feedback. Uh, love to hear what I've done wrong and what I can improve on. And again, if you're starting from scratch, I hope this gives you some idea of what this could look like. Thanks.